Well, happy holidays. So I always have to share all kinds of goodness with you guys, and um, I have a few good ideas for you today. So, you know, as I'm planning out how I'm gonna set the table, what I'm gonna put on the table, I know I'm gonna set it with Katsina, this pattern of ours that we've designed, and I'm gonna mix in some really cool vintage pieces and everything like that, and then I was thinking about the napkins. What am I gonna do, what am I gonna do? And this year I'm gonna do all different napkins and a different little twist on each of them. Because naturally what happens to me, <laughs> you guys know me so well now, um, is you know I start making one and I'm like, oh this is getting a little boring after the 12th one. So I thought it would be so much more fun just to do a different napkin for each person and a different little twist on each one. That way it's interesting on the table, it's still very pretty and it's so much more fun to do and the boys can help me. So. This is pretty much stuff, well for the most part, maybe not some of it, that you probably have around your house. And if not, run out to the craft store, you can gather this stuff off. It's pretty much, you know, pennies, kind of, you know, little pennies here and there, you know, dollar store, craft store, that kind of thing. None of it is expensive. Um, like we'll start with this one, this is obvious. So when I do a Thanksgiving table, I even bring a little bit of the holiday, you know, the next holiday into it. I can't help myself. You know, I have to get a little get a little jump on that season. So, you know, I'll go down to the basement. I'll pull out one of these really pretty, um, you know, simple ornaments and some holly leaves. These come in great big long sprigs, so I just trim off little pieces of them. Tie it on with a little bit of this. Um, this is actually yarn. It's uh, not even from the Christmas aisle. It's actually from the yarn aisle, and it's such cool, fun, fancy stuff. But how pretty is that? So simple, it's two seconds, you know. I love those kind of projects, those two second projects. Um, this one is pretty. I tackled one of our peacocks to get it, which is, you know, I love tackling birds outside. And I'm totally kidding, of course, I don't tackle birds. I leave that for John. Um, anyway, you can get bags of feathers anywhere, you know, any craft store, anything like that. And um, all kinds of different feathers. It doesn't have to be, be a peacock feather, but, you know, a pretty little piece of velvet, a simple tag, you're good to go. There's nothing too fancy about this. And it's so pretty though, isn't it? You know, just simple, simple, elegant. Um, this one's really fun and simple. It's just a little bell that's got a little bit of glitter on it, a little paint, you know, a small flower, simple ribbon. It's um, something I actually pulled out of one of our ornament boxes. I have no idea. It's just a thing I guess we had around, but you probably have a bunch of stuff like that too. So you need to start digging and finding all that stuff that you can just tie on to a napkin and say, oh, you know, I've been a creative genius. <laughs> this is a really easy one. Um, it's just a big crystal that basically on the back side of it, you can take wrapping paper or anything. It's basically a decoupage project, if you will. Put a pretty image on the back side and then cover it just with some silver leafing. It's very simple. Add a little glitter, some flowers to the top, tie a ribbon onto it, and all you're doing is just, you know, slip it onto the top and um, you can hang it on your tree after you're done <laughs> or put it back in your drawer and use it again. But you know, really easy, really elegant. All of these are elegant too. That's what I love about them. They're bohemian, they're cool, they're elegant, they're fun. You know, they're just fun. Very naturey one, you know, just a couple of pine cones, some little twigs, a ribbon, some berries. This is the kind of stuff that I can totally get my boys helping me with. You know, guys, I need you to go outside and gather this stuff up. And if you don't live in the country like we do and you can't run around and forage outside, you can buy bags of pine cones, again, at any craft shop. But you know, so pretty. And then this one is just so simple. Um, you can buy these two at the craft shop. They're just sort of these long branches they have. And I think people just sort of stick them in flower arrangements. But I love them because they're pre-glittered, which is bonus for me. So I'm not having to, you know, do too much fuss. And I just snip them apart and just wind them around. They're all, you can see they're all bendy, which is so cool. Um, so, you know, you might get a little glitter on your face when using this napkin, but save this one for someone very special. <laughs> anyway, you guys, I have no doubt, will go digging through your homes or run to the craft store and find all kinds of fun things. But this is a neat way to do this. And, you know, you can hang on to these, use them, you know, each time you entertain or change it up. Again, everything doesn't have to be uniform and the same. That's the serendipity of life. 